Wow, wasn't that game great? Seriously, I'm asking. I don't really know anything about football. All right, so we already heard a recap of the big game, but I'm here to tell you about why people actually watch the Super Bowl. The Pepsi trademark halftime show and commercials. Capitalism. So Katy Perry played the halftime show. It was weird. She came out looking like the Grand Marshal of the Macy's Day Parade riding a rejected Ghostbusters prop. When Katie started to ascend above the crowd, all I could think was... But my absolute favorite part that I hope every artist now incorporates in their performances was the depressed sharks. They just look so sad! The beach balls, on the other hand, just looked like they were happy to be part of something. Also, as we all know, the Super Bowl is famous for the ridiculous commercials that are marched out each year. Since we live in Canada and didn't get to see a bunch of them, I thought, why don't we watch some of them together? Let's see, what do we have? We had the Jurassic World trailer, the Avengers trailer... Oh, the Snickers ad! So you know the Snickers ad campaign where people were always like... Eat a Snickers. Why? Because you get a little angry when you're hungry. Better? Better. Well, Snickers did one of those, but it had Danny Trejo and Steve Buscemi in the Brady Bunch. An eye for an eye. That's what Dad always says. I never said that, honey. Shut up! Don't lie, you would totally rewatch every episode if they remade the show with these two. There was also the Budweiser ad with the dog and the horses and the rain and the... Ugh. Which GoDaddy responded to with their own take on the ad. Look, it's Buddy! I'm so glad you made it home! Because I just sold you on this website I built with GoDaddy. Ship him out! But that caused a massive uproar, so GoDaddy actually had to pull that commercial and then air this rush job instead. We know what it's like, guy who's not at a party with his friends right now, and we raise a chip with some dip on it to you. This is why we can't have nice things. There was also this, courtesy of Squarespace. Oh. I mean, if anyone's gonna sell that ad, it's the dude. Jesus. I actually went to dreamingwithjeff.com. Advertising works. It's actually a site that sells a Jeff Bridges sleeping tape. One of the things I do to relax is to hum. Uh, my makeup man, Thomas Nellen, gets a kick out of this. Uh, it goes something like this. Uh, uh, These Super Bowl commercials are weird. If you want to check out the commercials, we've compiled them into a massive playlist on YouTube and you can find it on our Facebook page. But us Canadians need not worry. The CRTC actually landed a deal which means we'll be able to watch all the Super Bowl ads live as they air starting in 2017. Which is great, except that this deal is like 20 years too late. I mean, these days all the ads just get posted on YouTube a week before the game anyway. Whatever, I'm sure your dad is happy that this happened. For a quick gaming update, a certain trailer came out in the last couple of weeks, just in time for Valentine's Day. So make sure that you cuddle up with that special someone and lock all the doors and pray for your soul. Indie developer Scott Cawthon released on his YouTube channel the first teaser of the third installment of the infamous Five Nights at Freddy's series. Yeah, the second one already came out. There's a third one now. Try to keep up. At this rate, this will make the third game in just under five months. He's either a genius who's capitalizing on his fame while he's still relevant, or he's beating a dead animatronic horse. But hey, as long as the games are still scary, we got nothing to come. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I'm totally not sorry. Last weekend, George R.R. R. Martin confirmed that The Winds of Winter, the highly anticipated sixth book in the Song of Ice and Fire series, will not be completed in 2015. And a million fans cried out in... Yeah, we saw that coming. Meanwhile, HBO released the trailer for Season 5 of Game of Thrones, which will be coming back this April. It has everything you'd expect from a Game of Thrones trailer. Jon Snow, Peter Dinklage, this guy, Boobles, her... What was her name again? <sighs> Game of Thrones. The perfect programming for when you want to watch 24 shows and only care about two of them. Martin's recent announcement, however, means that HBO will undoubtedly be beating him to the finish line as far as the series goes. And HBO, on behalf of everyone, if Arya does not end up on the Iron Throne at the end of this, this whole series has been a complete waste of time. Or Hodor. Hodor's cool too. Hodor. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's see what's going on at Algonquin this week. 
The Cracking Up the Capitol Comedy Festival will be making its way to the Commons Theatre tonight at 7.30 with the 22nd anniversary of This Hour Has 22 Minutes. Tickets are $22. Because of course they are. And next Wednesday the 11th, the Observatory will be hosting Comedy Night featuring Arthur Simeon and Monty Scott. What I did say was, wow, how did you get so big then? <laughs> It's all ages for Algonquin students, but 19 plus otherwise. So basically, it's an 18 plus show. Doors open at 8.30, and the show itself starts at 9. All right, that's it for me today. Don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at The Weekly AC, follow me home, psychologically terrorize me, make, make me think that there's always someone there. Basically, just make sure you don't miss a show. We'll be back next week with more of this. Maybe. If I feel like it. You're not the boss of me. Bye!